Hi guys, I'm Max Kausch from AndersSpecialist.com and I'm here to talk about Aconcagua equipment. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, so we're going to break up the list uh, in a smaller bit. I hope you enjoy it. Well, boots. Uh, we do need double boots for Aconcagua. That's a very tricky item. A lot of people ask me about this. Uh, can they take single wall boots uh, for Aconcagua? I would say no. I did climb Aconcagua with single wall boots before, uh, but we always think about the worst possible conditions. Uh, well, there are many uh, options in the market for single boots, like the Nepal Extremes, probably the most famous ones uh, from, from La Sportiva. I would not take those uh, because you can freeze your toes on the way. Uh, I've seen that happen many times, so I would stick to uh, double boots. This one is a La Sportiva G2. Uh, it's a actually very good boot for Aconcagua, but I also go with um, Spantic Barunzi. Uh, that's a, a very good option. Uh, the plastic uh, Koflach, the um, yellow uh, Arctic Expert, that's a good one as well. Uh, but they have to be double. Double boots have a, they have an inner one in the inside. Um, the G2s, for instance, they have a, um, a sort of some sort of gaiters. Uh, you don't actually need gaiters, but if you have uh, double boots, um, plastics or barunces or spandex, uh, I would take gaiters with them. Uh, a good pair of uh, Cordura hard gaiters. Uh, make sure they actually fit on your boots uh, before you go up uh, because of this band here. Um, well, you can rent this item in Mendoza, you can rent the crampons and you can rent the boots. Uh, you don't have to worry about them if you don't have them. Uh, for the track, I would have a solid um, tracking boot. Uh, this is a triangle for La Sportiva. Uh, you don't need uh, the hard ones for approaching. Remind you, we have a 50 kilometer approach uh, all the way to base camp. So um, uh, I, would take, I wouldn't take the new ones. If you have a new model you just bought, I would probably wear them before, do some tracks before, uh, to make sure they're soft enough and they won't hurt my feet. Uh, we actually bring in quite a lot of uh, protection for blisters, um, so you don't have to worry about that. If you do have them, bring them, no problem. But um, make sure you have also uh, good socks for them. Uh, tracking socks, I would probably go four pairs of socks um, to approach, just approach, and the heavy-duty ones for the summit push. Another important item from our list are the socks. Uh, we need two or three, but mainly two uh, types of socks. We need the heavy-duty ones, one pair of those just for the summit push. I would not even touch them uh, before I try the summit. I would have them in a bag at the bottom of my rucksack uh, to make sure they dry. Uh, heavy duty ones, cool max, uh, the smart wool, there are many different kinds uh, of socks. Uh, Lopen have, makes a, a very thick uh, ones, uh, they, they uh, have a, some sort of uh, very thick fabric that uh, retains moist. Uh, I don't actually like them. Uh, I prefer the smart wool ones, the thick smart wool ones, but ju just one pair of those. And you also need uh, tracking socks, normal, standard. Cool Max, uh, we go for Cool Max, it's a good fabric that um, evaporates a lot of water, so you don't have uh, wet feet on the, on the way. I will go for four of those. Uh, you can actually use um, uh, liner socks uh, together with this one, but I would not use these two together on the summit push because they um, actually cut off uh, uh, blood supply to uh, your toes, so that's what you don't want. So uh, if you prefer using liner socks, just a liner sock and that one, uh, make sure you try them in your boot before uh, going because uh, they might cut off the blood supply, so that's not a very uh, desirable. Well, toe warmers uh, are not, they're not necessary. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say that you have to have them. Uh, this is an optional item. Uh, if you do have cold feet, you have the experience before, I would buy a, a pair of uh, toe warmers. I like them to use them uh, with two socks. I have a liner socks, the toe warmers on the top of my toes, and then the thick socks on the top. Uh, 
Be careful though if they don't stop your blood supply. Blood supply is very important. Uh, um, it defeats the whole point of having uh, toe warmers uh, if they cut off the blood supply. So uh, this is an optional item uh, from our list. And uh, hand warmers. Hand warmers, I would have a pair of those. At least a pair, one or two for the summit push is enough. Um, some of them actually fail. Um, there are many, many of my clients had that same problem that while you transport these guys, uh, there is a tiny hole and uh, oxygen comes in. This is uh, the chemical uh, heaters. They work with uh, oxygen. When the oxygen uh, gets in contact with this, they start the process of heating. Uh, but sometimes they fail, so I would probably take uh, two bags. These are two. They look like tea bags that you put inside your mittens. Um, I think two packs of these is enough for Aconcagua. Well, crampons are a necessary item for Aconcagua. Uh, you can actually rent them in Mendoza. Uh, you don't have to have them. But if you have big feet or small feet, uh, something I will worry about, let us know in advance. Uh, because they might be harder to find uh, crampons to fit on these boots. Uh, the crampons we need uh, for Aconcagua, I would take the ones that have this system, uh, the anti bowling system. They, they uh, stop uh, snow from clogging up in your crampons. These are the ones without that system. Uh, we don't need uh, technical crampons such as this. You can use the ones with this. Uh, you can bring strap crampons on semi automatic. Uh, crampons. The important thing is they actually they have to fit on your boots uh, and uh, we're not going to use them, well we hope we're not to use them uh, most of the way but there are some times in Aconcagua that we have to wear them from base camp onwards all the way to the summit. Uh, I've been in probably four times, four occasions that that happened. Uh, you don't have to worry about if you never wore crampons before. Uh, we do uh, run a little training at base camp uh, we take everyone out uh, to train with ice axes and crampons, how to fit them in, how to adjust them. We don't have to worry about that. But uh, there are some bits uh, on the summit push that most of the times are covered with ice. And uh, there's a traverse, a 6.6 thousand, average of 6.6 thousand. Uh, it can be pretty slippery and it can be dangerous if you fall. So uh, bring crampons uh, for Aconcagua. Any questions you have, uh, please post it under the video or just send it to us at info uh, andis specialistcom